Hi, T.I.'s. It's 326 in the morning. <laughs> Y'all know that <clears throat> if I'm not being woken up by them sh shocking me and shit, I wake up in the middle of the night uh, to go pee. You know, just because I've been posting personal videos and stuff like that doesn't mean I'm still not a target. I'm just at the end of my journey, and who, know long, who knows how long the end will last. You know, we all know about slow kill. And... We all know that, you know, long-term effects of radiation can change your DNA and give you cancer. And I've told you I have the markers of cancer. Um, I'm always dehydrated. But, um, and I've told you I've got diabetes. You know, they're going to do more exclusive Tests, tests that can't be done at the doctor's office. I gotta go somewhere and take them. But, um, yeah. I also told you that, um, that my blood test turned up with alcohol in my system. And I hadn't had alcohol. Um, I think I drank on the 14th or 15th when I posted. And, um, you know, she said, well, you took your blood test on the 25th, which October 25th is my son's birthday. And there shouldn't be alcohol in your system. So we'll see if it's a, there's alcohol in my system this time. Because I didn't drink. I know the exact dates that I drank. And I don't drink that often at all. Once every blue moon. So... You know, I was looking up on Google what could make alcohol be in your system. But, um, and it said, like, hand sanitizers, and if you work in the medical profession, you know, you might have alcohol in your system. But, you know, I'm thinking maybe it was, you know, the prune juice that I drank to go number two. Or Jessica's homemade cookies that have coffee in them and alcohol in them. But who knows? You know, I got more extensive um, blood tests coming. Um, oh, and they can also tell any drug that's in your system. I had gabapentin in my system. She said, oh, well, you had gabapentin and Moltrin. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> But it was prescribed for my other doctor. Um, but I also wanted to say thank you to Cynthia Burns. You know, a lot of us TIs know who Cynthia Burns is. <laughs> my cheap ass cigarettes. They're two dollars and fifty cents a pack. And craving a black and mild. Every once in a while, you gotta have black. Well, not you, me. <laughs> but um, you like my hair? I woke up this way. <laughs> Hi, buddy. But um, Cynthia Burns dropped a a video, um, titled "I Haven't Forgot Y'all," and. You know, I replied on that video. Don't go in there. Haggis Blue. Garcia Sandoval. Hey. Hey. Good boy. But, um... <laughs> my buddy. Cynthia Burns dropped a, a video. Said, uh, titled, I Haven't Forgot Y'all. And I replied. And, um... You know, we went back and forth a couple times. But her words, you know, she's a kind soul. A sweet soul. 
but her words just filled my heart. But, um, yes, I'm in the bathroom where there's a little bit of light. And, no, I'm not going pee, see? I'm not sitting on the toilet. That's just weird. I'm weird, but in a good way. Straight out of Hawthorne, West Los, Hawthorne, California. But, um, yeah, Cynthia's, Cynthia Burns' words to me, they filled my heart. And I just wanted to tell her, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Cynthia. Yeah, they filled my heart. But, um, yeah, and I also wanted to tell you, oh, I'm so dehydrated. Um, hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. What's the matter, best friend? My cat. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. You know, just because I'm making, you know, putting personal videos up there, you know, I do that so you could see I'm a real person. And <laughs> he makes me laugh. You know, wait, I gotta... I hope you didn't hear that. Excuse me. Or, ta-da! <laughs> but, um, and I haven't been making gang stalking videos. Doesn't mean I'm not getting gang stalked still. You know, I think they've just eased up a little bit. Because I am at the end of my journey. And who knows how long the end of my journey will last. And, you know, I still get targeted. But they've eased up a little bit. Um, the night before last, the manager let somebody in the front door, you know, of the building. And I thought they were going upstairs, you know. But they continued to pass my floor. Which means that they went to the roof. And there's no reason to go to the roof at that time. It's just weird. And tonight, as soon as it started getting dark, the people next door, the lights went off, and you could hear nothing. And all of a sudden, boom, shocks. You know, shocks. And any of us that have felt those shocks knows that it's not just like, you know, like when you touch somebody and you get zapped. They really fucking hurt. But all praise to Yahweh. All the praise and the glory to God. The one and only true God, the most high, the most powerful creator of heaven and earth. I'm in pain right now. And I've been getting dizzy a lot, you know, to where I feel faint. That's because my I have low blood pressure and it drops. And so I've been spending a lot of time in bed because I'm scared to faint. Because a, a long time ago, well, a long time ago in the land of Oz. No, a long time ago, well, years ago, um, when my blood pressure would drop, I'd faint. You know, if I feel faint, I'd grab onto something and it would pass. But, um, yeah, when my blood pressure would drop, I'd faint. And I wouldn't feel faint. I just, boom, wake up from the floor. You know, head hurting or whatever. There was a time that, um, you know, I had a big fridge and the microwave was on top of it. And I was putting something in the microwave. 
and I guess I hit the ground, fainted. And, you know, when I, when I came to, you know, that plate was like out of the microwave. The microwave was um, more near to the front of the fridge. That motherfucker could have fell right on me. What's the matter, baby? Hey! Come! Come! Nothing's wrong with him. I hear him scratching and running around. He probably just wants to play. But peace love and laughter again thank you cynthia